This show is PG-14, so you'll probably hear a naughty word or two. Today is a special exclusive behind the scenes about the GOAT tour. But before we get to that, Monday, September 16th, the law firm representing Jordan Childs in her bronze medal appeal made her filing public. And along with it, the video evidence showing that all three repeated verbal inquiries that Cecile, her coach, made about her floor routine were all under the 60-second inquiry limit. Additionally, we found out why there was no inquiry for Simone Biles' floor routine, which is something we had been wondering about, so I'll tell you everything. It's September 18th. Welcome to the Rubber One Gymnastics Podcast in the Galaxy. I'm Jessica, and Spencer will be back on Friday for Behind the Scenes at Noon Pacific. So if you guys, I know this is supposed to be all about the GOAT tour, but I wanted to do um, a little mini-sode about Swiss filing that Jordan did, but I had to wait to talk to some experts because I talked to some attorneys about this, and I wanted to make sure I had all the information. I also talked to Cecile specifically about Simone's inquiry. So if you guys don't mind, can we talk about this, and then I'll take some questions after, and then I'll tell you everything about the tour. Okay. So to start with, um, all right. So to recap, the Paris Olympic floor final, Voinea of Romania got an out of bounds, but her coach didn't inquire about the out of bounds, so she lost the bronze medal. Jordan Child's coaches, Cecile, did properly inquire about her difficulty score, and so they successfully got her leap upgraded, and she won the bronze. And then Anna Barbosa from Romania, who was in the bronze medal position until Jordan Child successfully inquired, then lost the bronze medal. Currently. Officially, Anna Barbosu is now the bronze medal winner because Romania sent an appeal to the Court of Arbitration of Sport, which is where you have to go for anything at the Olympics. And they won their case based on the argument that the CL Landy had not inquired under the 60 second limit. Um, and so if you want more details on this, you can listen to our episode about the bronze medal, the definitive guide to the bronze medal debacle. And I'll put a uh, link to that in the show notes. So Let's talk about Jordan's appeal. I am obsessed that they made this public because we don't all, I mean, cat the filings at the Swiss, it's basically the Swiss Supreme Court, and those filings are confidential. But if you want to make it um, public, you can. So I love that uh, Jordan decided to do this, I assume, or Gibson Dunn decided to do this. And her firm is Gibson Dunn, and they are a legit, legit, like one of the best law firms in the entire world. So I love this for her. The filing also included the video evidence from the Simone Biles documentary on Netflix, Simone Biles Rising. Um, we had guessed that that's probably what the evidence was because we know that it was presented to CAS, but that was after CAS already made their decision, the Court of Arbitration of Sport. They can't change their decisions or hear new evidence afterwards, so it didn't matter. Like Once they've decided, it's over. So even though there was new evidence, there was nothing that could get done except take it to the Swiss. So um, in the video, now we've seen the video because they put it out with the password. Everything was in there. Um, we see that Cecile Landy says, inquiry for Jordan, inquiry for Jordan, for Jordan, three times. And all of those three times are under the 60-second limit. And the entire cast decision to award, take away the bronze medal from Jordan was based on that being that she didn't meet the 60 second limit. And now we know she said it three times and all three times were under there. And in her filing, uh, we got more details about the failure of due process in the cast hearing. And that's one of the only reasons that like uh, the Swiss will take a case if there was a failure of due process. And this cast case had many, starting with um, some things that we knew about and we've already reported on, but now we have more details. So the Americans only had three hours to prepare their case. Three hours. There were three days of work and communications going on between parties in the arbitration when the U.S. was not involved at all. Why did this happen? Because this is what's crazy is Cass had just had another case with Americans in track and field, I think it was, and they had communicated with the USOPC. But for some reason, they sent the emails to the wrong person in this case for USOPC. Um, and then there's two people at USAG whose emails are wrong. And they were very weirdly wrong. Like, it's not like they copied and pasted and left, you know, word or a letter or dot or something off of them. One was .com, one was .org, things like that that just seem weird. So that's number one failure of due process with notice. 
Um, then the lack of disclosures is another huge failure. So one of the arbitrators who was part of the panel that made the decision, Dr. Habibi, quote from the filing, that the chairman of the CAS panel had been acting as a party representing for Romania in several major investment protection arbitration proceedings was not disclosed. So he disclosed this it, to CAS. He's like, hey, here's all the people I've represented in the past at Romania a bunch of times for many years, blah, blah, blah. But that disclosure, the conflict of interest, basically, was not attached to the CAS filings in the bronze medal case. It was not there. No one on either side knew about this. It wasn't attached. So the whole proceeding happened and no one was made aware the whole time that the chairman had been had represented Romania and had a conflict of interest. That alone is another failure of due process that he should have. This is a grounds to throw out the cast case. So um, I. It's very rare, apparently, that the Swiss high court actually hears about CAS and like overturns, but these are like really proven, hard, fast facts about a failure of due process. So I think she has a very good chance. But then the thing is like, what do you do? Do you go back to CAS with everything? Is the IOC finally going to come in and say, we should just give them all three medals? It's a mess now. Like they've all been tortured enough. This is totally unfair. Everyone should get a brought. Well, the only person that doesn't have one at this point is Voinea. So, like, she would have, she's the one that was really unfairly judged, even though her coach had an opportunity to fix that. Like, just give Voinea a medal and let's be done with this. The other thing we found out, and we have been wondering, and we've talked about this, like, why didn't Simone inquire? We saw Laurent go over to the head table. We we saw the communication, but why wasn't there an inquiry? And we had wondered like maybe Simone just decided not to inquire. Maybe she was like, you know what? It was not my best routine. Uh, you know, let Rebecca have it. So I talked to Cecile about this specifically. And um, in the video that was presented as evidence in this, you can see that Laurent is pissed because he goes over to put an inquiry in for Simone and then he checks on it again. And then he's like, they didn't send it. They didn't send it. I went over there. They didn't send the inquiry. So what happened is that Laurent went over and started the inquiry, but then he checked and was like, hey, Simone, do you, are you sure you want to do an inquiry? Simone said, yes, do the inquiry. He walked back and the person, the official at the desk um, who takes the inquiries, he gave a thumbs up. He's like, okay, the inquiry's in. Okay, good. He walks back. And then when he went to check on it, because it flashes on the screen and says inquiry, so you know the inquiry is processing, it never came up. So when he goes back and checks, He's like, yeah, they never, they never sent it. They, they never did the inquiry, even though she gave me the thumbs up. Okay. The inquiries, he thought she was saying, okay, the inquiry is good. The inquiry is in. She did not put it through. Now, the thing that's weird about this is that when you do an inquiry, it can be electronic or written, but you were supposed to sign the inquiry. Well, I asked Cecile about that specifically, and she said they were not asking them to sign. It was all done electronically. There was no signature for the inquiry. So there's no final. It's supposed to be the final stamp. Yes, for sure. I'm doing this. So there's no, hey, do this. Thumbs up. Miscommunications, right? But they didn't ask them to do that. This is another case, yet again, of the FIG failing to follow their own rules. So that is another, I mean, Everything about the FIG needs to be overhauled, and I hope that the IOC steps into this. And I, I keep saying when I'm talking to people about this, I'm so grateful to Romania for doing this because honestly, there's it's such a cluster of a situation, and it's just unacceptable that an organization at this level does not have clear cut procedures that are enforced and covered and are someone making sure they're actually everything is actually done properly. And um, so that is, I, that's just why I'm grateful to Romania for doing this because it's exposed all these problems that need to be fixed. So I hope the IOC steps in. The cool thing about the Simone inquiry thing is that she tweeted about it and she said, quote, honestly, it's not a big deal for me. Rebecca had a better floor anyway and put a heart. And then she said, upsetting how it wasn't processed, meaning the inquiry, but I'm not mad at the results, which we love. And then she also said, but justice for Jordan. And that's the other thing. Like, this is just, it's so, it's such a cluster. It's such a mess. And for this to continue to go on is awful. Some of the experts that I talked to said four to six months for this to be solved. So it's going to be a little while. But I think clearly they have a very good shot at it. 
So I'm going to talk to you guys now, answer all your questions about this. Let's talk about it if you want. And I have so much to tell you about the tour. So uh, thank you um, to, this is where our regular listeners will leave you now with this mini-sode. And I'll see you guys on Friday on Behind the Scenes, back with Spencer. And I'll tell you, we can talk more about it, answer all the questions, talk about Dancing with the Stars, all the things, you guys. So um, thank you, and I'll see you guys on Friday.